developed uh, eVTOL aircraft that is uh, designed for uh, uh, personal ownership, for private ownership and for personal usage. It's, a, it's an aircraft that's trying to be a lot more accessible than uh, what current conventional aircraft are. So I was involved with uh, both aircraft, I'm, uh, I'm a glider pilot myself, and uh, with unmanned air vehicles for many years. And then uh, I was uh, involved in the development of, of, of uh, many drones. And it just all came together. At a certain point, you understand that, uh, that the simplicity of, of drones and the ease of flight that we are already used to from uh, camera drones, for example, uh, if we can combine that into an aircraft that, that carries people, then again, this will make, make things a lot more approachable, a lot more easy to use, a lot more uh, at, at lower costs than existing aircraft. People who have been talking about flying cars or, you know, or, or aircraft that are for everyone for many years. I think Henry, Henry, Henry Ford uh, was talking about this probably a century ago. The challenge was always, it was, it wasn't technology, it's not a technological challenge because there are light aircraft uh, that people can buy, but it's a very complicated event being a pilot and owning an aircraft because aircraft in the entire aviation industry has always developed aircraft around a pilot. And a pilot is a very skilled person. He's a very skilled person and he needs to do things in a very you know, orderly fashion and, uh, and work according to checklists. And, and it's, it's a certain state of mind being a pilot. And that's not something that is easy for everyone. It takes a lot of effort. And, and I think that's why we don't all have aircraft. And uh, now there is convergence of, of technologies that uh, allow us to reduce this effort considerably by using a fly-by-wire system on, a, on an aircraft that is uh, taking off and landing uh, vertically. And there's lot, lot, much less maintenance because it's electrical. So you don't need to check you know, uh, oil and if you have uh, air bubbles in the fuel in the morning like you do in an aircraft, then we can reach an aircraft where you uh, approach it in the morning and you, uh, like your car, you step inside you close it, you power it, and you can fly. The entire envelope of, of technology around you uh, eliminates the requirements for checklists and for a uh, higher level of skill because the, the aircraft prevents you from going into places where you shouldn't, from doing things that you shouldn't do, which can be dangerous. Uh, instead of you always need to you know, hold yourself and make sure that you're doing the right thing. We think that these are the things that will uh, let a lot more people into this world of uh, personal or private aviation. You will need a, a, a pilot license, but it's, uh, we're aiming for a fairly uh, easy level of, uh, of uh, pilot license, Some, something that will probably require around 15 hours of, of, of training. Yeah, it's fully electrical. Uh, it has a, a power system and, and, a, and a battery very similar in many ways to what you find in, in a modern electric car. So it's zero emission and you just need to charge it. We have uh, a substantial amount of uh, pre-order or pre-orders and people can uh, log into our website and, and order an aircraft. Tony Plout, CEO of Air. We are here at the Kentucky Derby on the red carpet. We are showing our first model, the, the Air One. This is the debut of the, our EV tall personal vehicle. Come and I'll show you around. Uh, we have here a full scale prototype of the unit. Uh, this is the first unit that we are showing to the public. Down in the back, we have a simulation tool. People are experiencing it. As you can see, it's a very convenient two seater, fully electric, available for purchasing now, pre ordering on our website. Thank you.